Hello everyone and welcome to Deb Chanel's 48th World where we're featuring the family affair. Yes, they are my co-hosts. Get into it, okay? But I am just here to say happy Saturday. Oh Lord, I'm going to say Saturday. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday morning, people. Yes, I've been gone for a minute, but y'all always been on my mind. I've been reading y'all comments and we're here today because you know it's the reunion. Sunday for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So we're going to be pumping out some stories for y'all to take part of until we can see the first part of that reunion that's going to be televised virtual um, stream yard, I guess it's called. All right, but we're going to get into a story and we're going to do a couple of stories on Lil B. Scott platform where she broke some exclusive news. Yeah, some exclusive news on Yavana, Nene Leaks. And the fake snake gate. Okay. And I'm like, whoa, well, go on and give it to us, honey. Because we're going to be piping hot when it's time for us to be aired of the new first reunion of season 12. Okay. Virtual based, of course. But she gives us a title as Giovanna Monoplasur speaks to B. Scott, slams Nene Leaks, leaked text message, says she felt used, and Nene ran at the reunion. <laughs> now, I really thought somebody was going to run, or they were going to mute themselves off, or whatever, but I didn't think it was going to be Nene. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't give her that player's card. For being the OG. I'm glad I took it and never gave it back. But you know. She has made some strides here and there. But not enough to give the OG card back to her. Of the head HBIC. Okay. The queen of the castle of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. No that's still in her mind. But like I said. I love the old heads that started the franchise. Of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it's just okay. It's cool. But mm mm. Oh, geez, don't go down like that. I don't care what kind of weather they're in or atmosphere they're in. Huh? Doing a video. Why? What's up? Yeah, oh, okay. Hold on. All right. So we're going into the article itself. It says the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion is over, but the drama continues. Mm. Yesterday, we here at Lil B. Scott poured an entire kettle's worth of tea about what went down during the ladies' virtual season 12 reunion in our exclusive report we revealed that nene leaks was the mastermind behind snake gate and that friend of the show yovana monoplasur admitted there was never any audio well for those who can hear and those who can see we already knew it wasn't no audio we was hoping it was an audio but looking at how nene gets down and how her untruths comes to fruition more than the truth comes, we kind of figure it was kind of rigged up. You know, she want to start drama, make us think it is something to behold, but it's usually nothing. And she don't really have a storyline to grab hold of. So she got to get up there in that fictitious world and try to bring something out. But like I said, those who've been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta or any type of reality TV show platform, we know half of it's scripted, half of it's true, and half of it's just fake fool or fuckery and fraudulent shitty activity and behavior. Okay? But that was just my uh, pun. Not in this article. Going back to the article, it says, Nene took the social media to seemingly deny the account, but Yovana spoke exclusively with B. Scott to clear the air. B. Scott, is there anything you can say regarding our recent exclusive? I just want some clarity. Yovana, I want to first address these text messages that were posted. That right there only proves further what I stated at the reunion and what was in your article. The time when any got up and didn't return is when I got there. She should she should have plead her pleaded her case when she was paid to. She ran out the reunion. She tried time and time again to prevent me from speaking my truth on this whole situation. What you're seeing is her attempt to manipulate people's minds before the reunion aired. Editor's note. Prior to this chat, Nene Leakes released this text message purportedly between herself and Yovana suggesting Yovana had audio. Okay, and then they do a little clips here and there how they were fighting on social media. And um, it reads, uh, breaking news, we apologize, but we must interrupt the Real Housewives of Atlanta Awards by the Housewives of 
Atlanta broadcast, but there is piping hot tea to be spilt. Nene and Brent have released a text from Yvonne regarding Snake Gate. The text alleges that Yvonne Man did not want her release. Yovana's man did not want her to release any audio because he feared Cynthia could take legal action. Child, at Yano Monoplusur, do you have a response, sis? Points Mike towards Yo-Yo. We will continue with the awards. Okay, I'm like, oh my goodness. Then Yovana Plasur posted something. Judge at Bravo, Andy, all the receipts at the reunion. You were a no-show case dismissed okay it took you two days to piece together them bogus ass text messages give it up sis i surrap at nene leaks you got the you had the floor hbic i got receipts to uh hashtag but we won't go there just yet and b scott is saying did nene leaks send you a cease and desist letter Okay, Yovana, I don't want to confirm or deny certain aspects of what's going to come out in the next three weeks, but me not answering that should tell you enough. Well, I want to make it very clear is that the homeowner was not at home at the house that they supposedly built. What would make you get up and walk out your own house? You have to be pretty freaking spooked to get up out of your chair and not return my entire segment that's what i want to say and that's what the world will see b scott asked was there anything you said specifically that made nene leave yovana i posted a video on social media and eva said something about it as soon as eva mentioned the video i guess her team told her to look at my page so when she saw the post let's clear the air that was her clue to exit editor's note Yovana posted via Instagram that she was appearing at the reunion. According to additional sources, production gave Nene heads up and she left her seat before Yovana appeared. Okay, B. Scott, do you feel betrayed by Nene? How do you feel about her right now? Um, Yovana, absolutely. I feel that I was used. That's the word. I thought she was a friend and genuinely felt that we were real friends. But over time, she played her real cards. Once she was back in cool with everyone else, it was like, okay, I don't need you anymore. B. Scott, is there anything you could say to explain the text from today? Did you send that text? Yovana, those texts messages further proves exactly what i said at the reunion i talked about at the reunion it will be all explained the things about it is these receipts that she furnished now why did she have these t- two days ago she had so much to say why did she come with this days ago it took 48 hours to finally come up with something it's to manipulate the viewer's mind before the truth really comes out now Yvonne, I can't say you can't really manipulate the ones that have been watching the show and know how these women get down. We either know it's going to happen or we know it's not going to happen. And we know people are going to say lies and they're going to mix a little truth in now. And then we have to ascertain what we believe because it's all opinions and speculations. We're not there. We're not privy to the real information that y'all women get down and make us a salacious story to partake of. We only give you give. You, our opinions on what you give us of what we've seen on the uh, TV screen or being showed on the TV screen. Okay. Just want to put that sidebar in now. Uh, then B. Scott asked, where are the dates, the stuff, uh, dates, times, when? Yovana, that's very important with this situation. Very important. B. Scott, you're saying everything we will be laid out in our exclusive will play out in the reunion. Uh, Yovana, I say a good majority of it. Absolutely. B. Scott, what do you think? What do you say to those who say you played yourself, tried to play Nene, and now you're doing whatever it takes to save face? Yovana, I showed up at the reunion to take accountability for my part in Snakegate and the whole situation. She wasn't woman enough to take accountability for her part. I said it, and I'll say it again. The homeowner was not at home at the house they built, period. The friend of the show ran you off out of your own house. How Has that ever happened? B. Scott, I don't think it has. Yovana, that should tell you something. I just want the public to use their brains. People aren't stupid. And there you have it. The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 airs May 10th at 8 o'clock p.m. on Bravo. Now, I thought it was going to air on the 26th, which is this Sunday. So, maybe not. Okay, we're just going to lend our ears and understanding to B. Scott saying it's going to be May 10th. And we're going to look forward to seeing it. Uh, which that'll give me more commentary to bring out to y'all to uh, let y'all think who 
lying? Who telling the truth, honey? Well, we already know Nene bring people on the show just to have new blood in, and she kind of introduces them to everyone, same as she did with Eva, same way she did with Sheree, and the many people that, and Kim Zodiac as well, you know, too. But, you know, she can't do nothing with Marlo Hampton. Marlo Hampton ended up doing her. <laughs> okay? So that was one friend of the show. Nene can never manipulate. Because she knows shit on Nene. Okay? And you can see she won't be pushing Marlo's buttons at all. But it's just really funny how Nene can just tend to run away. And I'm 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 right with her. It's one thing to be sitting on the couch with these women. And you just get tired. I mean, the lights be shining on you and you be sweating and you be in all these bound ball gown type of uh tire and you know you do get tired you might want to kick your heels off because they probably hurting your feet too unless you got them steroid shots in them feet okay but honey yovana you know it was a plausible idea that nene was just springing you on you know, to start more drama, to get more storyline. And it's okay to have been used uh, with Nene, but it's what you do when you're on the show, when you are being seen, how you going to present yourself so you can come back as a repeat, okay? A repeat friend, guest, foe, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how Marlo got her side job, and she's been doing well, very well. She knows how to play the game very well because at first i thought she was going to be a one hit two hit wonder but she has stood the test of time as they got a chance to let her grow since then he started acting up and they needed more people to be in the playground playing so yeah marlo is here to stay hopefully she can take eva's uh spot and, and push eva as a friend of the show or something because i hear that um porsche is not going with Dish, not Dish Nation, but Ricky Smile this morning show. She's going to be based in Atlanta, so Eva must be doing a commute. And then they said Juicy J, which I, I, it is very well known now because I called her commentary. She was doing on one of her social media platforms. She's not with, um, you know, the little person. Some people still call them midgets or whatever, but their new title or it's been out there for a while little people juicy J, y'all know they had a little people atlanta she ain't gone she wasn't invited to go with uh the rickle smiling morning show down in dallas uh taking over um uh, tom john the morning show you know the rickle smiling show had changed they were supposed to been doing that thing the first part of january or this year and they wanted her to come but they wanted her to keep the same contract but the rest of them got you know maybe a few more dollars or a few more hundred thousand on their contracts but they didn't want to get juicy j no a uh, new contract with some new money flowing child please and they say gary with the t they didn't even try to call her see how she was doing everybody else checked on even rick and smiling but juicy j said she don't know where well. um uh, gary with the t he missing in action and i'm like honey gary is basking in his own sunlight okay he ain't worried about nobody but himself but people that only worry about themselves they do have a downfall so Honey, Juicy J, keep you in prayers. Maybe you have other little adventures. I heard you were on Claws, that uh, show. I forgot what, what that comedian, actress lady, but she's a good actress. Can't think of her name right now. Maybe my family can put it in the um, comments down there for me. But, yeah, she's featuring herself on Claws. Uh, I think it's a Lifetime series or a show that they got. You got to have cable to be able to find it. But anyway, that's still a good thing for her. And then she's still um, doing on her uh, little Atlanta or big people or little people of Atlanta. She still got that going. So, honey, I'm sure somebody else will pick you up if you still want to be a radio, radio personality figure. I'm sure somebody because you got the skills. You know what to do, what to do, do, do. Okay. So, blessings upon you as well, Miss Juicy. But, child. I tell you, Eve just come up and try to take everybody's jobs. <laughs> I'm like, girl, don't be no one hit wonder like Claudia Jordan. Why are you going him trying to snatch off a jaw? Because you wouldn't have been on Dish Nation or Ricky Smiling Morning Show if Portia didn't have to have her baby. Okay, and they needed somebody to fill in, and she suggested Joe behind. But it, it just is what it is. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about B. Scott doing a segment uh, featuring Yovana trying to uh, clock Nene's tea and Nene running out her own house or getting off the computer, muting it or, or disabling it until she want to come back. What kind of shit is that, Nene? That 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 ain't grown folk shit. That ain't grown woman shit either. So I'm just I'm disappointed in you, Nene. I'm so disappointed, girl. Fight your battle. Stand in your shit. Okay, and keep it rocking. You know, you got that honey song 
girl looking a little disgraceful out here but anyway that's my thoughts y'all get in those comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about it and i'll see y'all next video but before i go don't forget that deb chanel love you yes i do down to the core uh with christ love and you know following all the way and um remember to share my videos like my videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so okay and remember people it's all just uh speculation it's just dedication to coming in want to talk talk shit with my family you know and we just have our opinions on different things and our speculations we ain't saying none of this shit is true on these people we're just looking at them on tv act the fool out act out of character how we think they should be acting and you know they're doing it and making globs of money okay but that's all it is. So don't don't get on people's backs or nerves about what you feel we should be doing or what we, you feel we shouldn't be saying. and Because it's all opinions, honey. You have the banter with your own family members or good friends when y'all just sitting around shooting the shit. Okay? You still make speculation. So don't get on our parade. Okay? Just make your assumptions, your opinions. And leave them down in the comments. And just leave them there. Okay? Don't get in no fuss fight. It ain't that serious. All right? But I'll see y'all next video. Peace.